Hi, I'm Graham Blackburn, and this is Traditional Woodworking by Hand. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to make wood round. So before we get started today, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button if, so you don't miss future episodes. And I also want to mention the fact that if you're interested in taking live one-on-one -on -one lessons with me in my shop in New York, all you have to do is to go to my website uh, and uh, you can find links to how you can contact me and we can talk about that. I have a lot of students and I really enjoy doing it. Anyway, today's episode is all about round, as I said before. Now, I've, I've often thought that it's a bit strange that trees grow really round and many woodworkers, if not most woodworkers today, spend most of their life trying to make it all flat and, and straight. But if you look at the way that we used to do woodworking hundreds of years ago before we had all these power tools, you'll find that there's a lot of beautiful furniture that's got curves and it's got bows and it's got sunken elliptical things. It's, it's really wonderful. And so we're going to talk just today about some of the tools that you can use to make wood round. The most common of those is something called a spoke shave. Now, I don't expect that many people these days, unless you're into a restoration of old farm equipment, are going to spend much time making spokes. Nevertheless, the spoke shave remains one of the most useful tools that you can have in your toolbox. In the old days, we used to use draw knives. And this is simply a knife. And this is a particularly nice one because I can move the handles sideways. I can move the handles up and down. But the way you use it is you take the spoke, the uh, draw knife, and, and you can cut the wood. And it's typically used with a something called a, a shaving horse. But this is one way of making a shape on a wood. This is the basic draw knife. The next step up that I think we've mentioned before is to use a plane that's round. This is called a round plane. And they come in different widths and they come in different uh, shapes like this. This is usually a sixth or an eighth of a circle. And all you do if I wanted to make this round is I put this on and I just plane it like this. And eventually the surface of the wood will match the bottom of the plane. These come small, they come really big. This round plane is actually a spar plane. You'd use this if you wanted to use, make a, like a spar on a boat, make something perfectly round like that. Here's the opposite tool. And this is called a round plane because it will make a hollow. Another way of making wood that starts out flat into a nice round shape. But to get back to the spoke shave, this is not anymore really intended for you to make spokes, right? But it's one of the most useful tools that you'll find if you want to do anything other than making something perfectly square. This is your basic spoke shave. And you can see as I turn it from side to side, I can control what I'm doing to what was the square edge of this wood. Now this one has a flat sole. So it means it's particularly useful if I want to use it on a flat surface and make a curve. But look at this. Here's another spoke shave. But the difference between this one and this one is that where this has a flat sole, this one has a curved sole. So it makes it particularly useful if I want to curve the inside of a curve. I can, of course, curve the outside of a curve. Here, this tool over here, 
This is also, if I take these fences off, this is also a curved spoke shave, but the addition of these two little wings, which are adjustable by loosening the screw here, and I can move it in and out, controlling how much of the wood gets left. What this will do is to give me a little chamfer on a piece of wood that's exactly the width of the shape that I want. I would keep doing that until both of these little fences were hitting on the wood, and then I would know that I would have a really perfect little chamfer. And here's one last one that you can still find these if you look around on eBay. This has the best of both worlds. This is a double spoke shave that has a flat sole, if you're working on wood that starts out being flat, and it has a concave sole, so that it's especially good for curving around. You can go either over or under, but you can make a nice curved surface. So I think it's important to realize that if you really want to have a complete range of things that you can do, woodworking, even contemporary woodworking, is not all about everything being perfectly flat and perfectly straight. Some of the nicest pieces of furniture ever made are all round. Bow fronts, curved, convex, all sorts of things. And these are just some of the tools that you can use to do that. So I hope that you'll experiment with some of these and have some fun making wood round. Thank you.